Now we'll talk about mathematical induction. And this is something that is uh, really interesting, but it's probably pretty different from most of the math that you've done up to this point. It, a mathematical induction is a form of mathematical proof that's used to establish some statement, establish the truth of some statement about natural numbers. Now remember what natural numbers are. Those are the numbers used in counting. They're sometimes called the counting numbers, just the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Now when you see this term induction, you might immediately think of inductive reasoning, which you might have studied in a logic class or in one of your earlier math or science classes. Inductive reasoning is often um, contrasted with deductive reasoning. And I'll say some things about each of these because this is good stuff to know. Okay, Inductive reasoning is reasoning based on a pattern that is observed empirically, something that is seen in the world. For example, you might see um, a particular squirrel and you notice that it has a bushy tail. And then you see another squirrel and you notice that it has a bushy tail. And you see another one and you realize, hey, I've seen squirrels all over the world for years and years and years, and they've all had bushy tails. So you might conclude, based on these observations, that all squirrels have bushy tails. Now, that conclusion would be reasonable based on your observations, but it is not necessarily correct. You can see that inductive reasoning has the potential to lead you astray. A good example would be looking at a bird and seeing that it can fly. And then you see another bird and you see it can fly, and you see another bird and you see that it can fly, and so you conclude that all birds can fly. You have not exhaustively studied every bird, so you don't really know that all birds can fly, but it's reasonable to conclude that based on the fact that you've seen these birds and that they can all fly. Obviously, the conclusion in that case would be incorrect. You know there are plenty of birds that don't fly, ostriches and penguins, for example. So inductive reasoning has this potential to lead you into error. That doesn't mean inductive reasoning is invalid. That just means you have to watch out. Uh, scientists, for example, know some things about pine trees, and they know that because they've studied pine trees. They have not studied every single pine tree on the planet, but it's pretty reasonable to conclude some things about pine trees based on studying pine trees. Inductive reasoning isn't necessarily wrong, but you have to be careful because it can lead you into error. Deductive reasoning is the kind of reasoning that's typically done in mathematical proof. It's the reasoning that's considered to be rock-solid, watertight logic, something like this. The classic example from um, most uh, most introductory logic courses or logic textbooks would be something like this. Uh, Socrates, no wait, we'll start off. We'll start off saying, um, all men are mortal. And then we say, Socrates is a man. And then we conclude. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. And this is considered valid reasoning every single time. If you accept your first premise and your second premise, which are sometimes called your major premise and your minor premise, then the conclusion necessarily follows. And this is the kind of reasoning that we're typically aiming for in a mathematical proof. We want one step that follows necessarily from the step before, and this chain of reasoning goes on to reach a conclusion that we know is true because all the previous steps of reasoning are valid. Now, I bring all this up, uh, well, for two reasons. One, it's good to know. But the second reason is to clear up a potential confusion here in the name. Mathematical induction looks like it might be related to inductive reasoning. And it is related in the sense that they both uh, make use of patterns that are seen. But mathematical induction is a form of deductive reasoning. Mathematical induction, the technique that we're about to study, is a form of mathematical proof 
that leads to necessarily correct conclusions. It's not inductive reasoning, even though it's called induction. It's not inductive reasoning, and it doesn't have the potential fatal flaw that inductive reasoning typically carries with it. Mathematical induction is a rigorous form of logical mathematical proof. And so with that said, by way of introduction, we'll take a look next at what mathematical induction is and how we use it to prove certain statements about natural numbers.